Well, there are a few obvious ones. They're all ancient. Ben Franklin, marriage is like the most important decision you have, not your business career. It'll do more for you, good or bad, than <laughs> anything else. And Ben Franklin had the best advice ever given on marriage. He said, keep your eyes wide open before marriage and half shut thereafter. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing how if you just get up every morning and keep plugging and have some discipline and keep learning and, and it's amazing how it works out okay. And I don't think, I don't think it's wise to have an ambition to be president of the United States or a billionaire or something like that because the odds are too much against you much better to aim low. I did not intend to get rich. I wanted to get independent. I just overshot. And <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, while you're clapping, some of the overshooting was accidental. There's some, there's a, there's a big, you can be very deserving and very intelligent and very disciplined. But there's also a factor of luck that comes into this thing. And the people who get the, good, the outcomes that seem extraordinary, they're the people who have discipline and intelligence and good virtue, plus a hell of a lot of luck. Why wouldn't the world work like that? So you shouldn't give credit for the unusual. Uh, a lot of the people, a friend of mine said about a colleague of his in his fraternity, he says, old George was a duck sitting on a pond and they raised the level of the pond. There are a lot of people that just luck into the right place and rise and then, and there are a lot of very eminent people who have many advantages and they've got one little flaw or one bit of bad luck and they, they're mired in misery all their lives. But that makes it interesting to have all this variation. <laughs>